In this quick video we're going to be giving you the best class setup for the Stoner 63 to use in Warzone so you know what attachments to unlock or what blueprints to get. This class setup is mainly for Warzone so the attachments that we'll be using will not be similar to other videos on Cold War Multiplayer. Before we get into the best class setup for the Stoner, consider subscribing to the channel and giving us a like on this video. We make more in-depth weapon breakdowns for Call of Duty on the channel so you'll stay up to date with those and help our videos get recommended ended more. We're also very close to reaching our goal of 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year, so you'll be helping us get there as well. So let's not waste any more time and get straight into the best class setup for the Stoner 63. Keep in mind that every attachment that we have selected is to adjust for the fact that in Warzone, most of the gunfights are at longer ranges than in multiplayer. So with that in mind, we have ran the 21.8 inch Task Force Battle. This increases your damage, damage range and bullet velocity, pretty much everything you'd want to boost in with an LMG. You do lose out on starting ammo and mag capacity, but the benefits far outweigh the drawbacks. We'll then be using the Mill Stop Reflex, which is my favourite optic to use with this gun. You can use any optic you like, Axial Arms is also quite a good option, but definitely use an optic as this is a long range weapon and you'll want to see enemies at further distances. It also gives you a slight accuracy increase as well. Next, we'll be using the no stock attachment. To increase the sprint to fire time, we do lose a small amount of hit fire accuracy doing this, but you probably shouldn't be hit firing with an LMG anyway, and you should be using something that's a bit better for closer ranges in your loadout. After that, we'll use the Serpent Rat, which is going to increase your aim down sight time again, which is better for those longer ranges, and it will bring down your sprint to fire time but that's being balanced by the no stock. Finally, we'll be running the field agent grip for the horizontal and vertical recoil control. This will reduce your shooting movement speed, but that isn't actually that bad for an LMG. And there you have it, that is the best class setup for the Stoner 63. Let me know if this setup works for you in the comments. Remember to subscribe to see more in-depth gun guides coming soon, and that is all for this video. Thanks for watching.